information according to study by comments to certain job, Stanaka reported that their faculty members and their peers held stereotypical assumptions about their intellectual abilities and their academic motivation, which discouraged their academic motivation and success. In addition to the challenges of being an athlete, I also I also found that they overcame those challenges and the two major factors that affect their academic success are academic support and social interaction. And the first factor is academic support that they receive from their colleges. Many researchers indicated the benefit of providing academic support services and programs for their academic success. According to Sainal Vinan and Convinkan 1999, and Paul and Houston 2010, tutoring helped them interact with their professors and do assignments and do other uh, academic related work. Also, Carradine Armand Prado 2001 and Patrito and O'Hallan 2007 found that academic advising about their registration, coursework, and scheduling helped them achieve their academic goals. In addition, workshops that colleges provide for student athletes help them develop study skills and time management skills, which benefit their academic success. Overall, those academic support services and programs help them to improve uh, their academic performance and to succeed in their classroom. However, there are no academic support services and programs in South Korea, which I believe my research will help my government, Korean government organization, develop those programs and services in the future. Another factor I found from the literature review is that social interaction is very important for academic success. According to about 2009, they develop academic motivation by coaches, academic work advisors, non-athlete peers, fellow athletes, and faculty members. And they reported that coaches emphasize the importance of academic achievement and graduation, which benefit them in academic pursuit. And academic advisors and non-athlete peers also help them help them maintain their academic motivation and be aware of the importance of academic success. And their fellow athletes who share similar coursework and schedule also help them in academic development. And finally, the interaction with faculty members enable them to receive academic advice and to find their academic interests. In addition, the social interaction helps students develop student identity. According to Simon, Yunnan, and Covington 1999 and Pierce 2007, the interaction with faculty members with a student athlete to experience college community, academic community, and to develop their identity as a student. And Watson and Kissinger 2007, the, their lack of interact with their interact with their non-athlete students cause can cause the over identification with your athletic goal, which affects, which has a negative effect on their athletic success. And what and more to such one found that student athletes tend to isolate themselves from non-athlete students, and they are more likely to emphasize their athletic goals. And their when their athlete identity overpower their student identity they can encounter identity foreclosure, which has negative effect on their academic development. In addition, according to Jolie 2008, the interaction with faculty members and non-athlete students help those members understand their dual responsibilities and their complex schedules. And this helps removing stereotypical assumptions about their intellectual ability and academic motivation, which encourage their academic motivation and success. In this presentation, I discussed the college sport models in the United States and South Korea. 
as a reform of South Korean sports college model. And I also explore the findings from the literature review, which are the challenges of being strong athletes and the factor that affects academic success. However, there is no academic support in South Korea. No research on social interaction for South Korean student athletes. And research focus, focuses on academic performance such as GPA in South Korea. So therefore, uh, there is need for research on South Korean academic experience and their quality experience. In addition, research on the benefits of United States college model, they can be worked. They can work in other countries, including South Korea, will benefit the reform of sports college model in other countries. Therefore, there is need for cross cultural comparative research focusing on American student athlete college experience and South Korean student athlete college experience. This will benefit the MOE and MCST, the Korean government organizations to understand what they need to implement in addition to the academic eligibility standards and to reform their college sports model in the future. Uh, thank you so much for listening to my presentation. We have five minutes for questions and answers. Thank you for a well thought out and uh, well presented discussion on uh, this topic. As a elite athlete in your country, what um, part of the American sports model, the student athlete model, resonates most with you? That's something that could have helped you in the process when you're going through your college experience. I think from my experience as a student athlete, we didn't have any tutoring in my country for from the colleges. So I had to have a private tutoring for my academics. So I think the tutoring really helped. It would be how tutoring services from colleges because they do not have to pay extra money and also they can really interact with and meet professors because we are not actually required to attend classes if we can travel and we have competition. So we do not much, we do not interact with much professors, many professors. So if we have tutoring with other professors, it, it, this will be benefit those students. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much for your presentation, with, which is really worth uh, considering to see the differences of uh, athletes in different countries. My question is, out of my curiosity, uh, are the students in South Korea? Uh, has to adapt at least one sport activity during their academic year, or it's optional for them? Uh, it's optional. We do not have any athletic programs in our education, like in the United States. The people who play like athletic, they are all going to professionals. It's not like for their highest or their academic accomplishment. They are going to be professional and competitive. Thank you. Hi, thank you again for the presentation. It sounds very well thought out and your theoretical frameworks are really strong. Um, can you, I'm glad that you pointed out at the end of your presentation the importance of cross cultural research. Um, can you tell us perhaps maybe some um, assumptions that might be inherent in the American culture versus the South Korean culture? that may require some adjustment if you were to take this model and move it to South Korea? What kind of adjustments would you imagine may, you might need to happen? Um, I think the culture is quite different. And the biggest difference is we have been studied and adapted to with this uh, Korean South, South Korea sports model from very young age, from elementary schools. So it's very hard to just change it when they just get into colleges and they just implement their academic ability standard. And they ask you to just take classes. So such we didn't have we didn't have